Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I. And our guest today, and I'm very excited about this, she's an artist, she's an author, she's a speaker, she's a Bible study leader, and her newest book, I don't know how many books, but we'll ask her in just a minute. Um, the newest book is a wonderful book. It's got wonderful recipes and all about hospitality. But the name of the book, it's not about the pie and... A fresh look at hospitality. Okay, and it's Nikki Corinne White. So happy to have you on our show. I'm it's excited. Wonderful to be Thank here. Thank you. This is great. Now you're from a state where my granddaughter lives. Where? Idaho. I Boise, live. right? Boise. Yeah. How come Boise, Idaho? Uh, we moved there 29 years ago. My husband transferred with his business and okay. so we moved up there and at the time I thought what's in Boise Idaho and it's great it's beautiful and uh, you know uh, four seasons a little of just each one and That's not nice. too much winter not you know so it's right. we, we really like it there so the recipes that we're doing today are really easy ones for entertaining for football, for That's a brunch, point. right? Right, exactly. So the first one that we're going to do, this one is what, Nikki? This is uh, a strata, and this is my sister's uh, recipe that she uses. She has company a lot at her house, and I wanted to include it in mm -hmm. this because my family, on Christmas morning, everybody can open their stockings, mm -hmm. but nobody can open gifts till we're all ready, so we always have a little Christmas brunch in between, and... Mm -hmm. So I make some things the night before. I make scones usually or something like mm -hmm. that. And then the strata is great because you can put it in the oven ahead of time, you right. know, and before while everybody's doing things. And it's, it's nice easy. because we were just down in Texas, in Dallas, Texas. And actually what happened was uh, our hostess made strata two oh. days in a row. Uh, but she puts potatoes in them. Huh. No, never had that. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. So anyhow, um, tell us what we're going to be putting in here and what I'm going to do. So it's really basic things that you would have bread and you can use any kind of bread mm -hmm. uh, and you can use and then eggs and uh, sausage or ham or bacon today we're going to use sausage mm -hmm. and cheese so and uh, a little dry mustard and salt and a little lemon juice mm -hmm. So and the only thing we didn't put uh, out was the cheese, which I'm going to go get in a second. But I'm going to cube all of these, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is... Eat slices of, of bread. Right. And the cool thing about it is that you put this all together overnight, right? And you let it sit. You, you put it together and you let it sit and overnight. And then the morning you just stick it in and put it in the oven while you're getting the rest of your breakfast or brunch right. can you can i ask a question can you freeze this i haven't done I that i haven't tried it but, but i think you probably you could because could, once it's cooked because yeah. once it's cooked you yeah. should be able to do yeah. that okay and you could cut the if you it was just the two of you right you could cut okay, the recipe totally. in half right totally and then do it in a square dish yeah. instead of a 9 this. by 13 right and you know, nine by elevens are hard to find. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's true. They don't do them anymore as much. Right, as much. Yeah. So I'm basically almost done here, and I need you to uh, scramble those eggs for me, if you don't mind. And, the... and then that way, I can get the cheese out, and I'm going to need um, two cups of cheddar cheese, which I already have. It's already shredded. So that makes it nice. So I'm going to get some shredded cheese out. And well, you're doing that. We're back. And now that we have the milk that we needed and the cheese that we needed, we're going to put the bread in first, right? Yes. So they go into the... And you know what amazed me was, is that you didn't have to grease the thing at all. That was a cool thing. No, it's great. It's great. So you just, it's like all in one pot, right? Yeah. 
All right. Easy schmeasy. Yeah, it's really simple. Anybody can make this. Anybody. Anybody. Even, even one of your, you know, I teach kids from the very beginning. Yeah. Like even my granddaughter started at two and a half. Seriously. And today that's the one that's in New Orleans. So this is great. Okay, so now what are we putting in there? Uh, the sausage and the cheese. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me have that. I've got this right here. And I imagine you could use, like if you wanted a stronger kind of cheese or a different flavor, you could use just, this is cheddar, but, yeah. but you could just use different kind or mix your cheeses. And the nice thing about this you is- could vegetables. Yeah, you could do anything, especially for vegetarians or whatever, yeah, right? Right. And so what I did was, these are maple sausages, and I ground them up because I kind of, I did it two different ways. I did the one that is already done, right? And- then I did this one. So then you put the cheese in, right? Yes. And this is two cups of cheddar cheese. All right. And my hands are clean. Don't worry. We wash them a lot. Okay. Now what do we do? Now we're going to, we have the, the eggs okay. and we have some dry mustard. Okay. And so I have this. So let me just put this amount in. Okay. And some salt and pepper. And you add that into that. Yes. Okay. There you go. And some salt and pepper, just, I don't think it's specific. Just for just taste. To, yeah. No, just, oh, like wait, this. Watch, your... watch. Oh, I like these little, yeah. I like these little ones. Go for, the, just turn it upside down and then oh. just turn it. Okay. And the cool thing is, you're doing that. Okay, we're going to And the milk. Then the milk. Hold yes. on. But you need three cups of this milk. So we had another cup. Okay. And then you just stir it together. And then we're going to pour it over the whole thing, correct? Yes. And what's really cool, I'm going to go ahead and do it so you don't get messed up here. And then you just pour it over the whole thing. That's the cool thing that I liked about it. It was so simple. Yes, and the liquid soaks in it overnight, and it kind of puffs up so it looks like a souffle. Yeah, it does. And so we're going to put some plastic wrap on it and put it in the refrigerator. Right. Or could I use this? Could I use this to cover it? Sure. Okay. So this is really cool because it snaps into place. Or is this yeah, the right one? I like that dish. You like that idea? Absolutely. I love these Pyrex dishes. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back on The Chef You and I with Nikki Corinne White. Her new book, It's Not About the Pie. And a fresh look at hospitality. Okay. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef You and I. And you know, by the magic of television... <laughs> and because I did it overnight. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And this is how beautiful it looks when it's finished. And actually, Nikki, when it first came out of the oven and we took a picture of it, it was that high. Yeah, that's amazing. Because of all the eggs, beating everything, the all the things that go into it. And it's simple, really simple. So if you want something for your friends and your family especially for brunch, this is it. Would you serve this with some fruit? Yep, yep. I, pr yeah, I'd probably do fruit. And, you know, maybe if you're having company and you want to do a bunch of, and it's a big group, maybe do some muffins or scones or something to go with it. But you really wouldn't have to because this is like a complete meal. It is a complete but meal. But if you have a lot of people, then, yeah, fruit right. would be good. Right. Fruit Should we good. taste it? We could taste it. Why don't we do that? Right. So I'd really like to taste it, actually, since... I did it all night, you know? Yeah. So, this is good. Mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did okay. right. I did mm -hmm. good. I think it should taste fluffier than a lot of people put their straw in and they really bake it till it's almost, it's tough, not tough. tough yeah, yeah. But this is really yeah. beautiful. This is done just perfect. Right. Good job. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to take a short break on this because the next recipe that we're going to do is because we want to put that artichoke dip into the oven. It takes a while, so we're going to do the artichoke dip next, okay? Okay, awesome. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I with Nikki Corinne White. We are back on The Chef You and I. We are with author... Bible study leader, a speaker, cookbook, new cookbook author of 
it's not about the pie. A fresh look at hospitality. Right. And you're an artist as well, aren't you? I am. And so, you know, when you're an artist or whatever, when you were putting the book together, graphically it was really important to you, right? Yeah. And layout was hard for this book because we had about 3,000 photos and we had to narrow it down. Mm -hmm. And we thought we'd narrow it down to 80, but we narrowed it down to 200. So the book has... It's a beautiful book, like a coffee table book, but it has a lot of photos. Because they were gorgeous. so pretty, we couldn't decide between them. <laughs> right. So what we're doing is we have eight ounces, am I correct, of artichokes. And these were artichokes in water. Yes. So you got to drain them first. And then yes, you need chop to them a little. chop yeah. them a little because you want, the, want it to be really smooth when you're putting it together and you're putting it in the oven which we've already got the oven on, ready to go. So these are basically done. So tell me what we're gonna mix first. We're gonna mix the mayo and the sour cream and... Uh, go ahead and put that in there. You can the do this part. Okay. Cream cheese together. Here you go. Uh, first, and just stir that up a little, and the Parmesan also. Okay, so here's the Parmesan you have. One and one fourth cups of Parmesan. That's the mayonnaise, and I use, I use Hellman's because I like the way it blends. But you can use any good mayonnaise or make your own mayonnaise yourself. So we don't actually have that in Boise. You don't. So, Do you so have best? Do you have best? Yes. Same thing. Oh, okay. And in Boise, it's in in the Western states. It's actually, actually, that's the name of it. Best. Oh, best foods. Best food. Right. Yes. And I make. Yeah. For your next book, you can take one of my recipes. <laughs> I make a Swiss cheese dip that uh, is that to good. die for. And it yeah. was my cousin's originally. Before she passed away, she gave it to me. I serve it every mm, time. It smells good. Okay. So now what are we going to do now? So then we're going to mix in the artichokes and the dill. Okay. So give me that. And, and you can also put garlic in there if but you I, wish. I she didn't use yeah. garlic. And okay. I just got this new tool. I love it. Oh, it's a scooper. But you know what it's for? Cookies. Oh, that's wonderful. Think about that. Yeah, Okay, that's so great. that you got that. And here we that's go. Great. You're not going to waste anything. And I love artichokes. And I've, yes, you know, I have a priest great. that's a, our, our pastor, actually, Father Andrew. He makes the best artichoke and the dip you've ever tasted in your life. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick, okay? And then you just need a little bit of, a little bit of dill. A little bit of dill. Yeah. How much does it... It doesn't yeah. say. I okay. think it's, you know, up to you. But um, I would just do a little bit, not too not much. Not a lot. Yeah. Dill is a nice, is a nice spice, though. I, I tend to like dill yeah, a lot. Yeah, you too. Whoops. That was kind of messy, but that's all right. So you're going to mix it all together, correct? Yes. And then we're going to put it into a uh, container, a baking container. This happens to be easy. This is an 8x8, eight eight, but you could also put it, I think, in a 7x11 also. Okay. Or double it. And, put and it salt in and it pepper? In. Oh, it doesn't say. No, it, I, I like to use a little salt yeah, and pepper. Yeah, that's good. Be flavor. You could probably add other things to this also. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you hold that, and I'm going to do this part, okay? Because I don't want you... Sometimes it gets messy in cooking. That's why I wear my chef coat. Well, you asked me if I had a chef coat. I'm not a chef. And um, yeah. I told my da daughter last night, and I said I was a little nervous about this. I haven't been on a cooking show before, and... She said, Mom, just... Easy, peasy. I said, I can't do this. She goes, you did this with us. You sat us down and explained recipes to us while we were growing up. That's right. So, I mean, it's not you know, a, I, I, I had wonderful... It's not a big okay, deal. Okay, then we're going to do this, right? We're and gonna, you could put a little extra cheese on top if you wish. Mm -hmm. We can, if you can. want to. We have tons of cheese. I'm a cheesy kind of person. <laughs> just cheesy. Cheesy kind of person. <laughs> so how? what's the temperature in... Yes, and it's 350 degrees, and yes. just for about a half an hour, about an hour. Yeah, it's an hour. an hour. So that's the reason why I'm getting it in there right now. Let's see. I'm going to put some more cheese on top put of it. Put a little cheese on top, and then you kind of have a little crust. 
I love this cheese because it's all shredded. This is what the Swiss cheese looks like when you're when you're doing the dip. And you know what it is? It's really simple. It's on my bread. It's on. So it's 20 drops of Tabasco sauce, a oh. quarter of an onion chopped up real fine. That's fun. Yeah, it's good. And about a cup and a half of Hellman's mayonnaise or best mayonnaise. And guess what? Shredded cheese. And that's it. And you blend it all together. And you key. put it in the refrigerator because... Seriously, that really takes a difference. So we're going to put this in the oven for an hour. And we're going to then serve it with what? Veggies. Veggies. Or you could do it with crackers. Or pita chips, like a Anything. heavier kind of thing to scoop with. Right. So this yeah. is what it looks like before it goes into the oven. And then as soon as it's done, we'll take it out and then we'll serve it. Okay? But this looks great. I can't wait to try it. Okay. Oh, we'll be right back, and we're making what this time? Quesadilla casserole. And do you like making this? It's like a five-minute thing to make, and people love it, and easy if someone drops by, because you have usually the ingredients. and Right, easy. Yeah, easy. It's easy. And that's what you want to do. And you know, kids love it, too. So if, you, do. if you're having a football party and your kids are part of it, which my granddaughter's always part of it, that she loves quesadillas. Ah, so that's great. We'll be right back. Where can people buy your book? They can buy it. Uh, they can order it from Barnes and Noble, or they can go to a, a Christian bookstore, or they can order it online with Amazon. Okay, that's great. And the name of the book is? It's not about the pie. A fresh look at hospitality. All right, we'll be right back on the Chef You and I. We are back on The Chef, You and I, with Nikki Corinne White and her book. It's not about the pie, a fresh look at hospitality. Well, you know, this is one that everybody loves. Everybody loves quesadillas. I don't know anybody that doesn't like them, right? And the nice thing about it is there's no garlic in it. Yay! So, anyhow, this kids would love, everybody would love, and it's a great, a great idea. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put in is? So you just put about probably, I mean, I just kind of take a guess, but just like a fourth of a cup of cheese in a, sorry, I'm going to make a mess, um, just in the tortilla. She can't see it. She can't see you. So the first thing we, she did was she put some cheese on top of the tortilla, right? Right. And then I'm going to put a little of this on it, yeah. right? Just put yeah. that on there. It won't hurt. I work with this stuff all the time yeah. so and then what do we do and then just roll it up and place it in here and we're just going to line them up okay so like this right yes well this is easy look at how way, easy that it's way is easy sometimes i actually yeah just let something sit on it if it starts to unroll on you uh-huh but we'll do it real quick yep. all right let's do this do this yeah. right yep and then just roll it yes like this that was easy put yes. that there right right and a little more cheese, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Hold All on. the way to the end. So All the way to the end. So your last bite gets. Is going to be cheese. Yeah. And we have a lot of cheese, actually. Yeah. Okay, let me do and, this. Yeah. All right. Now, some people you wouldn't put these in because they might not like them, right? Yeah, but these are mild. Okay. They're not. It doesn't make it spicy, really. It just right. gives it. It's more of a flavor thing. Right. I've even, like, if I had to make it at the... You know, make it for what? Really quick, and I didn't have green chilies. I've used green sauce. Uh huh. It's this not quite cool. as good, but yeah, it works. All right. And some people might not like so much cheese, so I just left this one with not a lot. Okay, because we're gonna put what else in there? Um, well, we're gonna we're going to put after we get them all lined up, we're gonna take diced tomatoes, petite diced tomatoes, and we're gonna pour it all over the top evenly so that you make sure you get every little bit gets moisture on it then we put more cheese on top and then we put the olives so it's so, a casserole yeah, it is a casserole all right quesadilla casserole i think one more okay one more all right okay yeah you'll love this this is so good everybody it's so simple that it's ridiculous but you know what people are like what was that that i just had 
people really like it. Okay, so we're gonna move this over. Hold and on. then, okay. I might not be tall enough to. Okay, hold on. Oh, don't fall. I don't wanna fall. Okay, I sometimes do with this, okay. Okay, okay. there we go. Right, so the next step on this, we've got everything rolled in, in, in the casserole dish, right? Yes. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is what? Put the tomatoes on. This is like really important because if you don't get them all over the entire thing, then they'll be kind of, they, it won't taste right. So I kind of go like this. And I spread it as I go, mm -hmm. making sure I get it all the way to the edge, all the edges. Okay. Um, don't just dump it down the middle because that won't work. No, I can see that it won't. And don't drain the liquid. Oh, that's really important because you actually you want that need liquid. the liquid. So yeah. you need the liquid. Okay. Then you're going to put, oh, there's more. There's lots more. That was one can. Yeah. Of so eight this ounce. is great. Okay. This is also a pretty inexpensive thing to make. Very inexpensive. And then, so then you're going to put more cheese on top. Okay. More and cheese. And I kind of just put a bunch on. Don't worry, I will. And then. And then you put olives on top if you want them. I have kids, some kids that don't like olives. And so I can just leave them off the, um, on a couple on the end or something and just put them on, mm -hmm. you know, and I, so I don't smother it with them mm -hmm. for those people who don't like that. And if this isn't spicy enough for you, you could certainly, while you're serving it, put some extra hot sauce or... Really, this is great with sour cream on top. Wow. I can't, um, afterwards. Wait, to I can't wait to try this. Now, you keep this in um, for actually 20 to 25 minutes yeah, on really a 350-degree oven, or 325. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to take a short break. We're going to be right back and uh, with Nikki Corinne White and the new book. It's not about the pie. Right. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, you and I, with Nikki Corinne White and her new book. It's not about the pie. And where can you get the book? You can get it, uh, you can just order from the bookstore or you can get it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I even sell my book, brand new books at Half Price Books. Oh, Did you know that? that and you can do, uh, you can, they're all over the country, and the kind, they'll sell it at the, the original price. It oh, doesn't make any difference. I don't even know. I'll have to look at And you I'll can, you that. can do a book signing there. Right. And I, you can actually get mine on my website, too. That's right. Yeah. And I do everything on my website, social media, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So the first, what's this called? Grape Jelly Meatballs. And who is the person that gave you the recipe? Uh, my friends, Paul and Marcia, and they bring this to events and they just make it ahead of time and put it in their crock pot right and they just take it to any you know football party or some sort of party that we have and get together and that's why they're wonderful. yummy and everybody loves them so what's the first thing we do here uh well you need to get your meatballs right and, and we already we we cheated a little bit yeah that's um, fine kroger's or uh any store Costco out there has beautiful yeah. already pre-made meatballs right yes. they're frozen and so we cooked them ahead of time right and um you don't really have to cook them you just have to warm them right right, right. you okay. can make your own if you want any if you want yeah. to, but yeah. we didn't have time today so the first thing that we do is we actually make the sauce correct right. and then add the meatballs right. to it right. okay so the so first go grape ahead. jelly who knew three-fourths of a cup or put that in there, right? Right. Okay. okay. And then we're going to add a whole jar. It's of chili sauce. And it is 12 ounces, actually. And if you want to spice it up a little, you could add sriracha or some other sort of thing to just make it even spice spicier if you want. Yeah. But this is the, the basic recipe that's in the book. That's right. And, and you want to make it simple because some people can't yeah. eat really hot. Right. You can always have the hot sauce around. Right. And people okay. love it the way it is. Right. Just your personal Okay, taste. so we're going to put and, this over. And then yeah. we have uh, a little bit of lemon juice also. Okay, so that uh, is actually um, two teaspoons of lemon juice, right? Yeah, and so All it's right. not too much. Not too much. And then we're going to just stir that a little bit. And then 
with jelly, it takes a little bit of time to right? kind of break it down. To Especially break it green. down, it's kind of right. You know, but it, this is so fast and easy. I usually have a Christmas party with my professional referral uh, group, and actually, Joni Baker Sullivan actually belongs to that, and that's. Um, and we do it at Christmas time, and everybody brings their own favorite little appetizer or whatever, and then we get gag gifts. Yeah. Appetizers right? are a great thing. Right. They're a wonderful so, thing. And I made some last night that I'm going to add to this, right, to warm it up, and then we'll show you how we serve it in the end. Okay. We'll just let this go. So can our camera get that? Yeah, it's really pretty. So it just it seemed like it didn't make enough to me. So, sauce? yeah, it didn't make enough sauce to me, but, you know, a lot of times people don't like a lot of sauce. I don't know. I love sauce. And this looks really good. So, that makes it simple. So then, mm. after it you get that. It smells really good. Oh, it does smell good, doesn't it? That's good. I love it. So, we got things in the oven. Everything smells Everything, good. Everything, I was just going to say, well, there's a variety of smells. It's really going good. On here. Okay, and I'm going to be taking that out in just a minute. So, let's turn this down a little bit. I just want to kind of warm it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the other sauce I made already. How about that? And then there's twice as much. Yeah, I did it in, um, actually, in this wonderful, in this wonderful, and I'm going to add, I'm going to take these meatballs, actually, and I'm going to put these in a different container for another party. Right. Okay, yeah. so if you give me that, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. And then I'm going to take the sauce. Okay. I got really big meatballs. And I thought, you know, this doesn't look good. I think I'm going to go they with this. They probably taste really good. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Anyhow. Actually, but, they look really wonderful. you know, um, I could actually use them for something else. But I'm going to add this because then it gives it a lot more sauce, right? Right. And... Mm. It smells so good. Mm. I am loving every minute of it. You don't want to waste any of it either. So I tried all the recipes out except for one or two last night just to see how that they would do. And they're so easy. I yeah, love I it. Yes. I love it. So see, it's all coming together. So now you add your other meatballs, correct? Correct. You want to go ahead? Go ahead. All right. I'll do it. So... All right, and then what you do is you just steam these, right? Or just let them cook, just right? Just let them warm, yeah, warm, warm up. through with the sauce right. for a while. And right. And so we're going to put the top on it, right, and let it go. And then, that, now that was so simple. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. And you put it together in five minutes. Yeah, my nine-year-old granddaughter could do yeah. that. Yep. Okay? So I'm going to tell her about that. Definitely. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I with Nikki Corinne White of the wonderful new book. It's not about the pie. It's not about the pie. And how did you, we'll talk about that when we come back. Where did you find the title? Um, not I guess, now. Not I, now. Oh, okay. When we come back. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I. We are back on The Chef, you and I, and actually the quesadilla casserole is done. And so we can't wait to taste it. We can't wait to see what it looks like. So I get the honor. Thanks, Corinne. She's Corinne, Nikki Corinne White. And I don't know. I'm going to do it as delicately as I can. Ooh, hold what on. A, what a really neat super scooper she has, though. For cookies, I haven't done it for cookies yet, but I can't wait. I think that it's a really neat tool, how it wide it is. So I need you to give me <gasps> one Good of job. the plates. Plates, Good, thank you. Good job. All right, so most guys would want how many of those? Two, probably. Two, probably. All right, so what we're going to do, boy, we got a lot of cheese in here, girl. Right. It makes it good. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of gotten stuck a little bit. So we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to dress it. Hold on. Wait a second. There we go. We're going to dress it. I'm going to wipe it off real quick. And just, you know, just put sour cream and... Right? I, I really like mine with, with sour cream on it. And if you want a little more sauce, you could put... A little salsa on it because it's not the green chilies aren't are pretty mild it's up to you there you are how okay. lovely that is 
And we're going to have to put that sour cream back on there. I know, it's sliding. Okay. This is messy. <laughs> Hold on. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Yeah, and if you don't have one of these super scoopers, it's okay yeah, if you just all right. cut them okay. in half and cut them in half. Try to do it if you don't. It's have easy. It. And then just do the sour cream again on there. And I'm going to take this and put it in back. It looks great. And then just put that salsa on top of it. It's going to be awesome. I'm not as neat. I'm kind of sloppy. Okay, but there you go. hold on. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. Hold on. We do this a lot on TV. Because, you know, you see the chefs that make all of the stuff with chocolate and all that juice, right? And they go swirling and everything, right? So oh, what we yep. do is this, you know, because it's on camera. So here's what I'm going to do with this one. Because it slid right off of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we want to make it really pretty, right? And you could put another black olive there if you wanted to. You could. You, can do you that. could. And a lot of people really like sour cream, so I'm going to do that, especially guys, right? I don't know. I like sour cream. I so. do too, but I don't use a lot of it. You don't? No, because... Yeah. This is light sour cream, though. Oh. Well, see, I, I, I'm really always watching what we're doing. So that is the dish, right? Let's clean this up a little bit. And see, it's so hot, right? And we just brought it out of the oven. So let's do this. Let's put this here. And we'll take this one over here. And we'll do this. Right. So here, bring that up there. Because that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Don't you love watching chef shows? They are really a lot of fun. For me, they are to watch other people do it. And, but you don't know what happens, you know, on the back end of it, right? Right. You exactly. don't know how much, well, you saw how much work it takes, right? And you know. So there's that wonderful, beautiful um, casserole. Um, tell us what the name of it is again. Quesadilla casserole. Quesadilla casserole. And it's a, you know, you put it together in five minutes, cook it for 20 Right, and you could cut those in half and serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot for somebody. For, yeah. Unless they are a guy. Yep. A big yep. guy. Uh, but I would cut them in half and serve like that. And then I would have a salad with it. Would you? Yeah. That would be yeah, kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll be right back in just a moment. We're back on The Chef, you and I. And the artichoke dip is done. Looks really good. It looks great. And we have Nikki Corinne White. Right. And her new book, which I'm really excited about. It's not about the pie. It's what? A fresh look at hospitality. Right, and that's it. This is hospitality. This is for the games. This is really cool. You know, you're, you can set up a whole buffet, which we're going to show in just a little while. And But everybody wants to know how you're going to do this dip. So? Yeah, I think that you can just scoop it like you would right for, and you could serve this with veggies or you could also serve this with like pita chips right or so we're gonna do crackers this or look at that isn't mm, that gorgeous and then lovely. let's take out a little of this and put it I in like here i know you yeah. do so i'm gonna do that now we can actually put vegetables that we have right here right so what would you like I'll have a cucumber. Cucumber? Okay. And a celery. Celery. Don't mind my hands. Yeah. And the celery. It's great. great. Okay, we'll do two, two oh, that's cucumbers. That's perfect, yeah. And do you want a cracker? No, I'm okay. 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 So that's that. I personally would like to have a carrot and uh, a tomato and a cucumber. How about mm -hmm. that? Yep. And so if you want to try it, then you just dip it in, yep. right? So I think we should try it. Well, you go right ahead. Do you not want me to? No, no, I want you to. <laughs> mm. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. I thought so. So I'm going to try this one. Oops. Hold on. The tomato is a little harder, right? It is. Okay, we'll try it. Oh, my gosh. I just want to eat it. I was going to say, you wouldn't really need to dip it. Mm. <laughs> That is absolutely delicious, wouldn't yeah. you say? Yeah, I think it's good. So we're going to take a little break, and we're going to put our meatballs out in a minute. Mm. And then 
I'll tell you what, this is fabulous for... Y'all should be here. We have a lot of good smells going on We have on a here. lot of great smells. And I know that my husband's going to take it to work with him tomorrow because his guys will love it. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're back with wonderful Nikki Corinne White and her wonderful new beautiful book. It's what I call a coffee table, or you can put it on the kitchen table. Gift book. It's a good gift book. It's a great gift book. Great for Christmas, any holiday, birthday, whatever. Where can they order it? They can order it in from a bookstore or Amazon or and, from my website. And what's the name of it? It's not about the pie, a fresh look at hospitality. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, I know the producer really can't wait to try these wonderful meatballs. Yes, right? he's been saying that. Yeah, since we started, right? Yes. So here are some meatballs. And I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some right over here too because that way everybody can share them. And you, you know, you could have them with um, some vegetables and that, and this could be a meal for you actually, right? I know a lot of guys that love them. Absolutely. And so the cool thing is, is that we're gonna take these wonderful toothpicks, and you know, you always want to have people make it easy on people, right? And have the yeah. right, what? Especially if they don't uh, like to be messy and Having right. a toothpick with something like this at a party is great because they might not have a fork. I always have toothpicks available, right? And I love these little things, right? So then, you know, there's one for that, one for this guy, right? Because sometimes people don't want to take the same toothpick. So I always have tons of toothpicks. I go to board and service and get them. I love that place because they serve, you know, for chefs, it's great because when you go to GFS, they have things in bulk. Which makes it nice, especially for a party. So, situation. a West Coast person, what's what's GFA? It's a um, food outlet oh. that, for restaurants and for people that oh, want right, to buy right, for right, you know, right. and it's great because they have them all over. Gordon Food Service. That's what oh, it okay, is. Okay. Have you heard of them before? No. Maybe you don't have in Boise, Idaho. Maybe hmm. not. Wow. So they're all over the country, actually, or similar ones are similar to that. When I need a bunch of anything, that's where I go or Costco or any of the other places but isn't that beautiful mm. that's what I love about it and simple and easy to make right exactly and I wish you could smell it through the camera oh, the smell it is really wonderful unbelievable and if you want more sauce on it then all you do is that you know then just add a little bit more sauce but guess what these meatballs would be gone in two minutes with the crowd right absolutely okay yeah. right. so what we're going to do next is we're going to make a really simple cheese board and then we're going to then we're going to make our cake how about or the what not cobbler. a cake. cobbler unless you want to make a cobbler first what would That's you rather do it's up to you well the oven's on let's make the cobbler first we'll take okay. a little short break and we'll be back We're back with Nikki Corinne White in her new book. And one of the recipes is what? Sue's Blackberry Cobbler. Now, is she a friend of yours? She is my sister's mother-in-law, and she lives in Ann, Ar Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh -huh. And I grew up on a horse ranch on a river in Washington, and we have acres of blackberries. So when she would go over and visit to Washington, she gave this recipe to my sister. Well, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take four cups, four cups of blackberries, right? And um, actually, you just want a little tiny bit of flour. Okay, you're going to spread that like that. And that just adheres to it. And then some sugar. sugar. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let, since there's a little bit of moisture in there, Right. And if you don't have yummy blackberries all the time, because sometimes in the winter, you can just go to the grocery and buy a bag of frozen, frozen. berries. Yeah, they Even I like I actually like using the, the frozen mixed berries, and it has blueberries and blackberries and raspberries mixed together. And right. So this we're going to put berry. aside for a minute, okay? Because yeah. now we're going to make the batter. The cobbler okay. batter. The cobbler batter. All right, so... We have the flour and sugar... And baking powder. Uh -huh. And that's the baking powder. I measured it ahead. Right. And then milk. Oops. Let me bar this a minute. 
Well, these things happen when you have too much milk in there, right? Right. That's all right. Things happen, right? And then we have a little bit of salt, I think. Yes. Yes. A, a fourth bit. of a teaspoon of salt. So now we're going to mix it all up. And it mixes really nice, actually. You don't even need, if you want to use a, if you want to use um, a mixer, you can. But I found that this was so simple. And I'm showing the, the batter here so you can see it, so the people at home can see it. It's really kind of a thick batter that you're going to pour over the blueberries, right? Whatever you have. You can even use... You can Pe use peaches. peaches. I've made it with peaches. I love it with peaches, um, especially in August when they're really good. Or apples. You could do. Mm -hmm. You could do any kind of fruit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put them into this container. And if you want to use more berries, okay. we could add some, actually, some blueberries if we didn't have enough berries, right? Yeah, I see. I, I usually add a little more than that, probably. Okay. So, so we're going to do that. Okay. So it's here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to pour this on top of it, right? This is going to be so cool. And make sure you get all, all of it out. Cover everything. Everything. And I might have even, you know, sometimes I felt like I wanted to double this uh, batter, you know, because I it felt does, like it does turn out though. It does. I mean, it it does. And we're going to show you that in a minute. More berries, maybe. Yeah, more berries. Yeah. And you know what? If if our producer would go and get me the blueberries, I'll add some blueberries to this. We added more berries to it, which looks absolutely delicious, right? And we put blueberries and blackberries, and we're going to put this in the oven at what degree? 350 for about 45 minutes. Right. You have to kind of watch it. You have to watch it. At the end. At, yeah. Because you don't want it to burn. Yeah. So if you'll open the oven door, I'll put this in. Okay. Oh, careful. Oh, wow. You asked me to open. Okay, now we're going to let that in for 45 minutes. And with the power of TV, we did one last night. That's amazing. And, you know, I took your advice. I did one. You're going to love this. This is, and, and you don't want it to get like that. Okay, but I'm going to go in the middle. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this, right, because I warmed it. And it's actually strawberries and peaches. Wow, that tastes great. Does that sound yeah. really good? So we'll cut it. Hold on. We'll cut it. And I'll serve it. And we're going to serve it. You can serve it with either ice cream or we bought some Cool Whip. How about that? So we're going to serve that. And we did a different recipe that we talked about before the show because I had to make it ahead and I didn't have enough berries. So... I made it with, I looked on your, in the book, and it said you can make it with apples. So I made it very different. I made it with strawberries and peaches. That's great. And it doesn't come out the same as when you're, I would double it to actually put two pieces on top, and it'll look like that, like we did. We cut two pieces and put it together, because usually when it comes out, your recipe comes out, it's a lot bigger, correct? It's a little taller. It's taller because it's yeah. got berries that are yeah. blackberries. That's yeah. why. So we want you to try this recipe. I think you're going to love it. And where can they get the book? Uh, uh, you can either get it on Amazon, or you can go to a bookstore and order it, or right. on my website. All right, and the name of the book is? It's Not About the Pie, right. A Fresh Look at Hospitality. Now, do you have a website, too? I do. And what is that? NikkiCorinne.com. Okay. And so we are going to taste this in a minute. Uh, we're going to serve this when we serve everything else, okay? How about that? We're Unless you want to try it now. We're going to have a food party. We're going to have a food party? We are going to have a Okay. So we want to make something really simple, okay? The next recipe is just really a cheese plate which is really simple to do and you're going to do that we yeah. brought you all the stuff to do it and we're going to try that and we'll be right back we're back with nikki corinne white and she is doing the hospitality part of her book right yes yes yeah, so, you know yes we're doing a rolls tray and the idea in this is to take what you have so you could have different kinds of crackers or cheese or meats or grapes or dried fruit or nuts or olives, and you can use 
boards or just random little, I use teacups and ramekins and things. And um, Catherine has this really pretty white dish and these and this cute little crystal. And so we're just gonna like, I'm just gonna kind of arts and kind of randomly put it together. And you can just make it happen whenever you have it at your house. So okay. Catherine's gonna put these, oh, okay, that's sorry, right, these that's two right. in these. And, this um, and another thing is, is that you can just buy, if you're having a bunch of people over, you can buy some cheese all put together. And I don't, I don't do it all neat and organized. I play, you know, kind of do different things with it. Um, and then, but you can buy things like this that are already pre-done. And then if you have a party at your house or at our house on Thanksgiving and Christmas, I don't make lunch because of course people are getting a feast later. And I've usually made a brunch and then I, we do the big meal. So I do one of these then, and I have a wood board. And uh, so I put things together and just make it look pretty. Um, actually, this might go really well on this because it has these little lines. Mm -hmm. And uh, so whatever kind of dishes you have, or if you have a cheese board of some sort, or whatever kind of thing that you have works fine. You can have whatever dish if you just have a dinner plate and some cups or something to put your other things in. You could use dips like salsa or artichoke dip or anything like that. Uh, and so, and then you could take grapes. I really like using uh, sometimes two colors of grapes or, and then just cut them into little pieces so that people can grab them. And just, it's kind of like you're, it's kind of like you're decorating you're decorating a plate. Like if you're artsy and you just want to, you know, make it look cute. And so, you know, you can just lay it and like this, you can even have things hanging over the edge uh, and pull it all together and just make it happen, you know? Um, and that's beautiful. It doesn't have to be so organized, right? right? It doesn't have to be organized. Right. And you see how she's done this? Like you could put one up on here and do things around it, or um, we can have other kinds of crackers that are just different sizes and shapes. You could even have chips with it. Right. Uh, and, you know, or like pepper jelly and uh, those kinds of things. I don't know right. if that's what that's called, pepper yeah, jelly. Yeah, pepper jelly. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and then we have this nut mix that's mm -hmm. also in the book, All right. and it's called the, uh, Nikki's Nut Mix. Yep. Favorite nut mix it's called in the book. All right. um, and it's a combination of three different things. So you have the salt and the sweet and the tart. So you have golden raisins for the tart. Mm -hmm. You have the nuts for the salt, and you have the butter toffee peanuts or glazed pecans if you can't find better to toffee peanuts, and then you have like a combination. Mm -hmm. So you can just use whatever little containers you have to make it all work, work. together and combine it. And oh, we've got meats, we gotta have the meats. Yeah, we gotta have the meat in there. Have the, you know. Um, oh, we're looking, we're looking at the way you did it in your book so that people can get an idea, right? Right. Which is really, really a cool idea. Yeah. And those are little hams, right? Yeah. Not to worry. Yeah. And yes. people love, people really love to be able to pick and eat and whatever. Exactly. So, anyhow. So, and just have different, if you have different kinds of crackers or. And uh, we do. We have lots of different crackers. Especially if you have someone who needs gluten free and you have like rice crackers, right. which I think are probably what those are. Right. Um, Yes, too. We've kind of done that so that people get an idea of what it looks like, right? Yeah. Put those on there. And, and you could set this out with all sorts of different things, even with chips and dip, and put it out. And for your guests this holiday, it'd be great. That would be great. That, that would be so fun. Oh, oh, and more of these. We could yeah, more you could these. actually put those in there, too. Okay. Put those over there. All right. So 
because people really, really like different kinds of meats and stuff. And you could even do mozzarella. You could. Yeah, mozzarella sticks even, right? You could even put a nut ball on it. If you right. used a cutting board, Yeah. one of your cutting boards or something, you could do that, yeah. Yeah, so you get the idea of what we're talking about, right? I don't know what that was. What is that? All right, there we go. Okay, so get, you get an idea of what we're talking about. Let's move it up here for, can you, do we need to move it up? Here, hold on a minute. Let me get these out And this is obviously, we just put this together in five minutes, you could make it much prettier. Yes, uh, right. <laughs> so let's move all this out so that we can take some pictures and then our audience will understand what we're talking about. But he took a picture of the picture of your book so that you can do it pretty simple. You know, but it's really a lot of fun when you have time to do this and I'm going to move it over there. Right. I'm going to move it over there. So and this is a fun task to give like one of your kids to put together like a teenager or something for when people come as a task to give them while you're cooking your big dinner. Yeah. And, you're I, having this and that's what I tend to do with my kids and my grandchildren is that, that I want them to participate because they may want to have a little cocktail party or something, right? Absolutely. So I have to tell you how much longer do we have that in the oven for? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. We really have run out of time, believe it or not. Let me clear this off. And I can't thank you enough for actually coming on our show today. I'm going to add some more to that, if you don't mind. And just put some more on there. That's nice. And bottom line, the book really, really has to do with Part of it's about recipes and stuff, but it really has to do with just the heart attitude of welcoming people into your home and reaching out to your neighbor and taking something to them. And right. e that's why the recipes are all easy. That's right. We want to thank you so much. Great gift. Give your website out again and where uh, people can get it. NikkiCorin.com or Amazon or Barnes & Noble or a Christian bookstore, local store that you have, local bookstore. I want to thank you, Nikki, for coming all this way from Boise, Idaho. And uh, congratulations on your book. Thank you. And uh, we wish you all the luck in the world. We want you to come back when you come to Ohio. Okay? Yes, absolutely. All right. And we'll see you next time on The Chef You and I. Don't forget to go to our website at thechefyouandi.com where you'll find all the recipes and everything. And we'll put all the stations and everything up there as well. Thank you again. Bon appetit. Thanks for joining us on the Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.